Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Uh, Everybody says, why don't you change your introduction? That's me. Okay, I've gotten used to it. Don't try to change it like that because I am glad to welcome you back. And uh, Gene Smith, Charlie Covenant, in with me as co-host uh, uh, for fifth Saturday. That's a bonus time for for Gene and uh, and Charlie. He looks forward to this every time. And uh, hang on because Charlie's going to do that poem at the end of the in the final segment. We've got it all set up for that, but. I had a chance uh, not too long ago with the Tennessee Outdoor Riders to uh, head up uh, uh, toward the Paris, Tennessee landing area. Had a chance to visit the National Wildlife Refuge, Tennessee National Wildlife Refuge up there. Uh, Had a wonderful time and met probably the most enthusiastic uh, park person I've ever seen uh, because she she loves her job as a refuge uh, ranger at Tennessee Wood National Wildlife uh, Complex in Springfield, Tennessee, and that's Joan Howe. Good morning, Joan. Hey, good morning. See, there I told you. She's ready. She's ready. All right, now, and, and I know it's early, Joan, but uh, uh, when I got the press release, and, and she does such a wonderful job of getting information out about it, and it's one of my favorite places, uh, uh, the Wings of Winter. New Birding Festival for Kentucky and Barkley Lake coming up January 19th and 21st. And you'll say, well, good night, Larry. That's a long way off. But they're taking they're, they're taking reservations now for this event. And, and Joan, uh, tell us a little bit about what's going to be uh, the Wings of Winter Birding Festival. Well, thank you for the opportunity to talk about this. It is exciting. We have uh, a brand new birding festival in the Kentucky Lake, Barkley Lake area. Um, we have a lot of partners on this. This is not just Tennessee National Wildlife Refuge. This will be um, a, a birding festival that would include Tennessee National Wildlife Refuge, Cross Creeks National Wildlife Refuge, uh, Land Between the Lakes, uh, Fort Donaldson National Battlefield, uh, Paris Landing State Park, all the way up from Kentucky Dam to the bottom of Tennessee Refuge will be included um, in this birding festival. Uh, in the middle of January, this uh-huh. place is completely hopping with uh, wildlife resources, especially our migratory birds and waterfowl that yeah. are visiting this area. And all these lands are uh, filled with these uh, migrating wildlife that are that are, are overwintering in our in our lands here uh, around the Kentucky Barkley Lake area. So we thought, what a perfect time and what a perfect place to um, get folks down here and kind of show off what we have here and uh, uh, let them have a fabulous birding experience uh, for the weekend. And, of course, uh, eagle time. That's right. That's correct. That's when uh, eagles are uh, flying over uh, all over these these lands, and the eagles will play prominently in our uh, field trip opportunities. Is, is this something that's been in the works for a while? Did you come up? Uh, I know you... You, 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 has this been something that, uh, hey, this is a great idea because, I, you know, I don't know how many have this, and Charlie may know. I know we have the Humminbird Festival in Holly Springs, but uh, this is something that I think is going to be uh, unique. I think so, too. Um, we have um, no birding festival in this area, but most parts of the country that have oh, yeah. rich birding resources have uh, many. There are many places that have birding festivals, and birding is a um, is an area that uh, uh, is, uh, is is increasing it's in, good. Yeah. in popularity yeah. nationwide. And so we need to take advantage of of having these resources here to uh, invite folks to come and see our rich bird resource in this area. I think it would be a win-win for mm-hmm. um, all the public lands in the area, a win for getting more people to this uh, unique, um, beautiful place in Tennessee to let them see, and maybe they'll stay a little bit longer and, and come to some of our towns and, and do some of our other things. That's kind of the thought um, for this birding festival. What do you guys, uh, Charlie, you like like me, I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a closet birder. I love it. <laughs> you know, i got to come out. My I wife think. and I just returned... Uh, from uh, spending a week in the Portland, Oregon area last week. I know you did, uh, yeah. 
my son and I and my wife got to go out on some tributaries of the Willamette River, and we saw herons and lots of ducks and osprey mm -hmm. and a few eagles. It was very interesting. I enjoyed it thoroughly. And this would fit your bill right here, wouldn't it, this uh, winter sure festival? Sure would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and Gene Smith, I know you've been uh, part of the Audubon Society. Yeah, and, I was in, uh, president of Audubon and Memphis chapter for 15 years. And, and so what, is that, what does this thing sound like? Oh, it good? sounds great. Uh, of course, I used to take people to real foot to see the eagles. We take a little field trip up yeah. there uh -huh. and uh, see the see the birds. And of course, we're on the Mississippi Flyway, which is the largest flyway in the United States. And right. and more people actually bird than any other sport outside sport. I was waiting for somebody to say that because yeah. my my good friends at the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. Correct. Uh, I said that word. You got it correct. I, I've practiced on <laughs> saying that word, uh, but Pat Leonard uh, with the Cornell up there is. Uh, 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 you know, this is just, uh, I think you have a chance here. Uh, what kind of crowd are you hoping for? What do you expect? Well, we don't know this very first I know it. year. <laughs> we were, um, I think we would be very happy if we had 100, 120 people. Oh, but you're going to have more of those. Who this, knows, that, you know what, yeah. but we have um, some just, so, so here's the carrots that uh, we have to dangle in front of people. All right. Uh, we have a featured speaker, Julie Zickafoot, yes, who is, she is big in the birding world. She is there, really has big. a yeah. following boat. So we are very fortunate to have her as our keynote speaker. Not only will she be a keynote speaker, but she will be leading a pre-festival tour, get this, to Cross Creeks National Wildlife Refuge with the refuge manager. Now, Cross Creeks National Wildlife Refuge is closed from November 15th to March 15th. That's right. You can't boat in there, walk in there, everything. But this group of folks are going to get to bird right down through the middle of there with Julie Zickfoos and the refuge manager. Oh. You can't get any better than that. Well, that's 100 at least right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, yeah. here's the thing. Yeah. Only 22 people. Oh, are that's going good. To do yeah. That. Yeah. So yeah. that's why we want to promote this now because the registration yes. is open now. And um, the second person yeah, that tell, we're using... Tell us about my, my man, uh, John James Audubon, is going to show up. Yes, that's right. The second person <laughs> is Brian Fox Ellis, who travels uh, worldwide, really, yes. um, as a storyteller. And um, he also does different persona. And so at this festival, he is going to be John James Audubon. And he'll be You it. know, is a, is a famous uh, person that was the conservation of birds and, <laughs> and education and, and pictures of birds. But he's going to be John James Audubon for the entire entire weekend. Ooh. He's going to give the uh, Friday night reception program, uh -huh. and he is going to lead um, several different birding walks as John James Audubon, and then he's also going to be giving a um, whole workshop, um, a, a couple of hour workshop on um, journaling, poetry, using um, go, getting words uh, yeah. uh, for, for for ornithology and, and, to, and to be better um, a journalist in, in your uh, birding world. Well, he's uh, well known, and I think, I, I, like I said, I, I think I saw one of his presentations at uh, Pigeon Forge uh, in Wilderness Wildlife Week, which is a, a great event they have up there. Again, we're talking to Joan. How she is a refuge manager at the Tennessee National Wildlife Refuge Complex in Springfield, Tennessee, about uh, the new Wings of Winter New Birding Festival for Kentucky and Barkley Lakes, January 19th through the 21st next year. And so how does people, uh, what's it going to cost? In, uh, um, the registration fee is $25 per person, and then it's just kind of a smorgasbord about what you want to do. You know, the different field trips. We have all-day field trips on Saturday, and there are four of them. Uh, one goes up to Kentucky Dam looking at uh, rare goals and wintering turns and in and, and several uh, hot spots along the way. Uh -huh. One will go all the way up through the middle of Land Between the Lakes, birding in different places at Land Between the Lakes with a nice stop at the Nature Station, which they're going to open up special just for our group. Wow. Um, another one will go down to Duck River Bottoms, which is kind of some people consider the heart of Tennessee National then, Wildlife yeah, Refuge. Yeah. And you will get to go back behind sanctuary areas there and bird there with the refuge manager. 
Um, and then one will be coming through this uh, facility, our uh, our visitor center here in Birding, around here, and then going out to um, areas around Pace Point. Now, Pace Point is one of the top ten birding locations in the state, um, so it's going to be uh, a very nice uh, trip there, and that particular group is going to get to go to um, historic Christopher Manor for coffee and, and desserts oh, after really? the birding. Um, so we have four very nice um, all day field trips that includes transportation and lunch for twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars total for the twenty five dollars uh, total. Now there's only thirty that's going to get to go to each one of those. And that, and so, how do you, so the first thirty is that the first way you, thirty? That's right. That wow. signs up. That's why we need to promote this now because yes. we want folks to be signing up and and the the ones that really want to 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 come be part of that. Well, it's then just... we have some half day field trips. Those are at twelve dollars. Uh, one is called the history of the bald eagle. You talked about the bald eagle, yeah. Um, and this talks about the whole history of the bald eagle and what happened in our country with DDT and 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 eagle hacking and all that. We're going to visit some old hacking sites up in Land Between the Lakes, and it will end up at a active bald eagle nest there in Fort Donaldson National Battlefield um, that is <laughs> very easy to see. And so that's a half day field trip called. The History of Bald Eagle. There is another half day um, uh, field trip that is a photography workshop. So yeah, I saw a, that. Uh, some yeah. photographers, very, very good photographers, are going to be coming in and teaching uh, photography. They're going to start out at Paris Landing in the classroom, but then they're soon going to go out in the field and um, actually take pictures uh, out in the field. Um, and so um, that's uh, and then there's also an opportunity, to, uh, of course, to go um, birding with John James Audubon. Wow, well, oh. this is amazing. Uh, uh, we got to get out of here. But, Joan, how do they get information? I, I'd like to post this on my website, of course. Uh, but okay. tell me, uh, is it the, w- um, is that www.paristnchamber.com? Slash, slash Wings of Winter. Wings of Winter, folks. That's Again, that's Paris TN chamber.com uh, slash wings of winter uh and this is just an amazing event we will stay in touch joan thank you very much uh is there an age limit on this i mean yeah, uh, absolutely not this okay. is everything from beginning birding which we have a beginning birding workshop okay um, all the way up through your person that's looking for that one rare bird to fill out their life list well uh, just to go to see a uh, fox as James John Audubon is just an amazing thing <laughs> yeah, to say. I agree. Joan, thank you. We will stay in touch. Keep those information coming to us. Okay, have a great okay. day. You're thank good. you. Thank you. All right, let's take a break on Outdoors with Larry Ray. We're going to switch to, she's going to be coming cha-cha in the room, and we'll let her dance with Charlie Covington since he's right by the door, that he'll be able to, to swing. I'm, I'm sure Charlie's got a real I've got him a, a natural. Shoes. You, you got na- you got a natural uh, uh, dancing ability. We'll be right back. You can find. 